Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, I am going to prove Euler's identity uh, in three ways. Okay, first, I am um, going to use um, integration. So, first, uh, I am going to define an integral. So, if we take integral from 0 to 1, 1 over x square plus 1 dx. Okay, now we know. Uh, this is uh, simply we know uh, arc 10 so arc 10 from 0 to 1 we know pi over 4 but uh, now I am going to find the partial fraction by using complex numbers so we can write 1 over uh, x square plus 1 is equal to 1 over x square uh, plus 1 I am going to write minus i square okay then <coughs> uh, we can write this is equal to 1 over x minus i uh, x plus i because here this is difference of 2 square uh, now we can find partial fraction so if we plug in um, i here uh, sorry if we plug it yeah if we plug in i here we know here 2 times i so we can write this is equal to 1 over 2 times i x minus i here this is uh, uh, I used uh, cover method so now if we plug in minus i here minus 2 times i so minus 1 over 2 times i x plus i okay then uh, we can write uh, this is equal to now I am going to multiply by minus sorry i both numerator and denominator so here uh, i square we know minus 1 so we can write minus i over 2 times x minus i and here if we multiply by i so here i square so minus 1 so here plus i over 2 times x plus i now we can take i over 2 as a common factor so here uh, 1 over x plus i minus 1 over x minus i so we can write now our integral uh, 0 to 1 1 over x square plus 1 dx and this is equal to uh, integral from 0 to 1 we know i over 2 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here 1 over x plus i minus 1 over x minus i dx okay then we can write uh, here 0 to 1 1 over x square plus 1 dx uh, is equal to now here uh, i over 2 now integral from 0 to 1 1 over x plus i uh, we know natural log of natural log of x plus i minus here also natural log of x minus i from 0 to 1 okay now here we know this is uh, arc tan of uh, x arc tan of i'm going to write arc tan of x from 0 to 1 <coughs> and this is equal to i over 2 now if we plug in 1 here natural log of 1 plus i minus natural log of 1 minus i now uh, minus if we plug in 0 here natural log of i minus minus here plus natural log of minus i okay then here we know arc tan of 1 is equal to pi over 4 so pi over 4 is equal to now here i over 2 here we can write uh, uh, all our natural log so according to property of natural log we can write this is equal to here plus so 1 plus i uh, times minus i here minus sign so <coughs> division so 1 minus i times i okay then uh, these two get cancelled and we can write pi is equal to 2 times i 
now here this i also get cancelled and here we have natural log of 1 plus i over 1 minus i times minus so now i am going to multiply by both numerator and denominator by 1 plus i so we can write here minus sign and here 1 plus i square over now here 1 minus i times 1 plus i difference of 2 square so we know 1 minus i square okay then um, we can simplify here 2 times i now natural log of here minus sign here 1 square so minus 1 uh, plus 2i minus so 2 times i uh, plus i square we know minus 1 minus minus so plus 1 over here i square minus 1 here minus so 2 now this minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled also this 2 get cancelled and we have pi is equal to sorry pi is equal to 2 times i natural log of minus i okay then we can write pi is equal to um, now um, i'm going to multiply both side uh, by i so here i times pi here i square minus 1 so minus 2 times uh, natural log of minus i okay now according to property of natural log we can write this is equal to natural log of uh, minus 1 raised to the minus 2 power and then we can write this is equal to natural log of uh, sorry here i uh, now 1 over minus i square okay now we know minus square plus i square minus 1 so i pi is equal to natural log of minus 1 okay then we can write now this is equal to e to the i pi is equal to minus 1 and uh, we can take minus 1 to left hand side so e to the i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 okay we are done mm. If you have any idea, uh, please comment down for this uh, proof. Uh, now I'm going to move the uh, next method. So I'm going to use uh, differentiation. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to take uh, e to the e to the i theta is equal to you know cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta uh, and uh, I'm going to define a function uh, so f of theta is equal to e to the i theta over cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta okay now I am going to take uh, derivative first the uh, first derivative so here f dash of theta is equal to now uh, we have a division so we should uh, apply quotient rule so here in the denominator we have cosine of theta plus i sine of theta square and here cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta uh, times derivative of e to the i theta we know e to the i theta according to chain rule uh, coefficient of theta so i then minus and here uh, we know e to the i theta and derivative of uh, this function so we know cosine uh, so minus sine of theta plus i times cosine of theta okay now uh, we can take e to the i theta as a common factor and here now we have i times cosine of theta so i times cosine of theta the plus uh, i times sine of theta times i so i square so minus sorry here minus sine of theta 
and here minus minus plus sin of theta here minus times i cos theta over, over in the denominator we have cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta square now we know sine of theta get cancelled and also i cosine of theta i cosine of theta get cancelled and we will have this is equal to zero so f dash of theta uh, is equal to zero so now we have the derivative of function is equal to zero so definitely we know the function is equal to a constant so now here k is a constant uh, okay now I'm going to plug in zero so we know uh, f of zero is equal to e to the i zero e to the i times zero over cosine of zero plus i times sine of zero and here we know one over cosine of zero i this is equal to zero and this is equal to one so we know this is equal to one now f of zero is equal to one now we know our function is equal to constant so everywhere we know uh, if uh, function is equal to one so now we can write k also equal to uh, one so we can write now f of theta also equal to one and uh, here this is equal to e to the i theta plus cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta now uh, we can write uh, this is equal to e to the i theta uh, cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta okay this is the Euler's formula and we proved Euler's formula and now if we plug in pi for, for theta so e to the i pi is equal to cosine of pi plus i times of sine of pi and we know this is equal to zero cosine of pi we know minus one so e to the i pi plus one is equal to zero okay we are done well then um, i'm going to use um, Taylor series in uh, third method so so first uh, I'm going to take uh, expansion of e to the x we know e to the x is equal to 1 plus uh, x over 1 factorial plus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the third power over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial plus x to the fifth power over 5 factorial plus so on okay then I am going to take uh, the expansion of e to the i times x we can write 1 plus uh, i times x over 1 factorial plus uh, i times x square over 2 factorial plus i times x to the third power over 3 factorial plus i times x to the fourth power over 4 factorial plus i times x to the fifth power over 5 factorial plus so on okay then mm, we can simplify this is equal to uh, 1 plus i times x over 1 factorial uh, now here i square we know minus 1 so minus x square over 2 factorial and here uh, i times x to the third power so we can uh, write i times i square i square we know minus 1 so minus i times x to the third power over 3 factorial and here uh, i to the fourth power we can write i square i square so minus 1 minus 1 we know plus so plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial and here uh, i times i to the fourth power so again plus uh, i times x to the fifth power over 5 factorial uh, minus so on and now we can write uh, here now i am going to take uh, 
real part real values so here 1 minus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial minus so on uh, then plus now I am going to take i as a factor so i times here x over 1 factorial minus x to the third power over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth power over 5 factorial minus so on okay now we know this is uh, data series expansion of uh, cosine function so here cosine of x plus i times here this is also data series expansion of sine of x so i times sine of x okay this is the Euler's uh, formula so cosine of x plus i sine i times sine of x now if we plug in pi so e to the i pi is equal to cosine of pi plus i times sine of pi and we know this is equal to 0 and cosine of pi minus 1 therefore e to the i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 okay we are done if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching